Hello everybody, this is Kate Thrasher from Vedicated. I'm here with Irfan Khan from SAP. As you can see, we're in the SAP building here in the Hudson Yards in New York City. So Irfan, a good place for us to start is, what is your role at SAP and what has been your favorite part so far? So Kate, great to be here with you. Uh, my role at SAP is I'm the President and Chief Product Officer of Data and Analytics. So it's quite a broad role and we've actually just expanded the scope of the role to take on more of a general manager uh, capability and one of my favorite parts of the role is that we get to announce and do some really great stuff around data. And this new announcement that I'm about to share with you today around the data cloud is the example of that. It's just a wonderful situation to be in right now. Well, first of all, congratulations on the expansion of the role. We always want to do more work. So congratulations on that. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is data cloud. I know this is the new hot topic that everyone's talking about. My question to you is what can your customers do with business data cloud that they could not do before? Hmm. So if you look at the before and the after image, normally they always typically show the side by side. And the before image really is, is that there's a lot of heavy lift that goes on. So typically customers will have to build pipelines, have to make sure that those pipelines are robust and ensuring that when they land the data, wherever they choose to land the data, that the business context is then rebuilt on top. So it's quite an arduous process. In, in fact, in many ways, it's a very redundant and heavyweight process. And with this new business data cloud, since it's a SaaS service, SAP provides a fully managed experience where you eliminate a lot of that redundancy. So we actually provide a fully curated set of managed data products of SAP, which is the new content of SAP showing up. And that experience now means that they can actually just concentrate on the use cases, the high value business AI use cases or new cross analytical type of use cases with harmonized, fully semantically enabled data. So my follow up question is for, for companies that are listening out there, how do they know that they're ready for such a solution? Most of them are feeling the pain today and they're feeling the, the tightness in terms of being able to get through the day to day. So the on top activities, which typically most organizations have to have some kind of discretionary investment in. You can almost assume now that this new service of the business data cloud almost creates a lot more headroom of opportunity because the timeline, meaning the time to value, the time to market for new use cases because of that fully curated set of data that arrive with semantical context of all your business data means that they can rapidly start working on new projects without the whole bind of having to go through funding and figuring out how investments are going to carry on because that on top thing is a very difficult thing to do for most organizations. I think you guys mentioned that you can also import external non-SAP data, right? Will that still have that same business context that you have with the SAP data? And can we put Jewel and agents on top of the combined? Uh, that's a great question, Kate. So business data cloud in itself has fully manage SAP data, mm -hmm. but it also gives a customer a means to being able to onboard, semantically onboard all of the data that they have within their estate. So it doesn't actually differentiate from a process perspective or from an analytics perspective where the data comes from. It just so happens that this is one of the reasons why we're so delighted to have the likes of Databricks now being part of the business data cloud journey, because it means many customers that are mutual customers and having the ability to share data bi-directionally from those environments means that all of the data is effectively connected. And I'll leave you with this, maybe this example that from an AI perspective and a data perspective, I met with a Mondelez CIO, a very, very strong proponent of SAP. But at the same time, he shared a very profound statement. He said, data is like golf. And in his explanation, what he was getting at was that when you think about a game of golf and you hit your ball, hopefully straight down the middle of the fairway, your next shot needs to be played from exactly where the ball lands. Mm -hmm. And data strategies are very similar. So business data cloud connects to the data independent through a fabric level, independent of where the data may reside. So it's a benefit of both worlds. It's a curated SaaS experience in SAP data and extended, of course, with non-SAP data through the business fabric and really blending all of the different artifacts of the data of the customer's data environment. Amazing. I actually really love the golf analogy. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Irfan, thank you for chatting with me today. And just tell the audience, please, where can they go to learn more if they have questions about SAP or Jewel or anything we just talked about? So first and foremost, I mean, I'd ask you to take a look at our new landing page for Business Data Cloud. The other thing I'd also ask you to do is to really look at some of the online demonstrations that are out there to, so you can really experience a Business Data Cloud and a whole variety of different assets. So I would recommend you go to Business Data Cloud's landing page on sap.com to get fully, fully immersed in terms of what this new offering is. Amazing, thank you. And I hope everyone goes and follows SAP on all social media platforms. Irfan, thank you again for your time. Hey, my pleasure, thank you very much.